Talks. Alex here with another quick video. Today I'll be talking about a little known process called squeeze casting. Many in the die casting industry have heard the term the squeeze effect. But for a quick overview, die casting is the process of pouring molten metal into a form called a die. As the molten metal cools, it solidifies into the shape of the die, creating the desired part. The molten metal immediately begins to cool as it comes into contact with the walls of the cavity in the die. As it cools, the molecule tighten, forcing gases out. These gases can get trapped between the part and the cavity wall, creating surface imperfections or within the part creating a porous material. Porous metals have less strength than solid metals. When strength is required, the squeeze casting can help. Squeeze casting is the process of applying pressure to the molten part as it cools, forcing the gas bubbles to escape. The high pressures applied together with the immediate contact of the metal with the surface of the mold causes a rapid heat transfer that eliminates internal porosity and adds mechanical properties otherwise not obtainable. Due to the extreme temperatures of working with molten metal, the methods of applying the squeeze can be limited. Hydraulic cylinders, for example, are often used, but the high temperatures also reduces the life of the seals in the cylinder, reducing their value. My company, Vega Cylinders, has developed a way to use hydraulic cylinders with a special internal cooling. In addition to using high temperature seals, the cooling liquid runs through the inside of the front part of the cylinder, thus reducing the temperature and giving the cylinder a longer life. This technology avoids costly and time-consuming downtime, which means more value for you. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumb up and feel free to leave a comment. If you don't like the video, don't worry, go ahead and click the thumb down button, but please comment as to why. This will allow me to provide better content in the future. Subscribe to Vega Cylinder channel on YouTube and also subscribe to my channel here on LinkedIn to be notified of new content.